in a lesson, like a teacher is just talking directly to a whole class, but when you like you're on maths whiz, it's like a teacher is just talking to you. So it's like your own personal lesson. In our school, all of our children are on maths whiz, and when they first go on, they do an assessment, which gives them questions on every area of maths, and the questions get more and more difficult as they go through. And what that does is it gives them a maths age which may be higher or lower than their chronological age, but it lets me see where they're up to with the maths and how ready they are to be in my class. And what it does then, for every area of maths, it keeps going back to the ones where they were lower to give them more and more practice at those areas where they're a bit weaker. So it plugs a lot of the gaps for me in their out of lesson time so that they're ready for lessons, so they're coming in at the, the right maths age. We've set a weekly limit of 90 minutes for tutor mode, and the tutor mode is what's actually teaching them. They can go on as much as they want, but it takes them into replay mode, which is just practicing what they've done before so they don't forget those skills that they've already learnt. We use the reporting to get a real clear picture of which children are on for the right amount of time, who's not on enough, who's maybe on too much, and which classes are on enough. And it's easy then to pick up any timetabling issues because you can see really clearly where your classes are up to. So it's good for the subject leader of maths to be able to have an overview of school. And they can also pick out for different classes what their class strengths and weaknesses are for topics. So you might put a little bit of intervention in place if you've got a class that's always quite poor at data handling then you know that as a subject leader so you can drill down into why are they weak at that and put something into place to help them and the teacher. I use a teacher resources for a lot of booster work so if I've taught something and I know that a few children haven't really understood it then I take them later on in the day just to go over it again and because they love maths with the animations and everything it's a really good resource to use because they don't feel like they're doing extra work they feel like they're playing a game so I will go through the activity with them so they've got another understanding of it and also you can print off a worksheet so then I can give them the worksheet and do a little bit of practice by themselves so I know if they've got it or not by the end of that booster session. It's raised the profile of maths, they love it, they love going on to maths whiz and I think it helps them in the lessons, they've just got a better opinion of maths, that maths isn't just sitting down learning the same things again and numbers, 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 they've got more interactive activities so they see maths was just as part of maths not something separate and standalone it's all to do with the same and it's really brought brought the computers and maths learning together in our school.